Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise airwave. Now, this is a very weird looking bot, and to be honest, I was going to pass up on him, but the more I saw of him online, I decided what the heck, I want to pick him up, because I am a big fan of the Generation 1 MicroMaster bases, so I figure I'd give this guy a shot. After all, I really enjoyed Ironworks and Grease Pit. Yeah, I guess Ironworks and Grease Pit, same figure, but I really enjoyed those two, so I figured let's give him a shot and see what he's all about. So right here, you've got Airwave in robot mode, Transformers, War for Cybertron, Earthrise. On the side, you've got Airwave in his airport or battle station mode. On the back here, you actually see he has quite a few modes. You got robot mode, battle station mode, and airport mode. But there's actually another mode that's not even featured. On the side, you got artwork, Earthrise artwork, and that is pretty much it. So now without further ado, let's get this very odd looking bot out of the package and see if he was worth the pickup. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Airwave all open and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions. And as usual, these are very well illustrated and very easy to follow, which is fortunate because I had to use the instructions a couple of times with Airwave. He also gets this little piece right here, which is packaged separately. This can be either used as a handheld weapon or attaches to his shoulder right here. You actually get two of these. The other one is the tip of this weapon right here on Airwave. Now taking a closer look at the figure himself, like I said, Airwave is a very weird looking bot. He looks like the end result of a one night stand between a GoBot and a Tetris piece. Now Airwave here is actually an homage to the original Generation 1 Airwave, but not the Airwave figure. That was a Generation 1 MicroMaster that turned into a jet. Airwave here is based on this Airwave's base that he came with. He had a transforming base that I'll compare to this airwave after a while. Now taking a closer look at the figure, the molded detail on this guy is amazing. Starting up here at the top, you can see the pistons, the hinges, all the little dots and arrows. I mean, lots and lots of molded details. I love the chest. Check out the recessed details right there. That is really, really cool. Now taking a look at the head sculpt, let me get the light in here. Now when I originally saw this face sculpt online, I thought he had a Cyclops look, kind of like uh, Generation 1 so uh, Shockwave. But if you take a look right there, the light can barely get in there. He does have painted eyes, like orange eyes. But honestly, I prefer the Cyclops look. So Toy Hacks, if you're watching, Let's cover those eyes up and give that centerpiece an evil red glow. Moving on down, we got more molded details right there on the thighs. You got tank treads and wheels, which is really cool. On the legs, more details as well. 
Got a 32 right there. I mean, for a weird looking bot, he's got the sculpty. Now let's take a look at the articulation for the figure. The head can do a complete 360. Yes, 360 goes all the way around. I always get called out if I say 180 opposed to 360, but hey, I'm not perfect. Arms can go up and down, but mainly right here at the bottom of the shoulder. He is a modulator, so the arms peg in. So arms up and down that way. There is an elbow bend, elbow rotation. This hand right here, of course, you see is a weapon. Uh, this arm has these little panels that you kind of have to move out of the way to get a full range of motion, but it's really not too bad. And I love the molded on Decepticon logos. That looks really, really good. He also has a torso rotation, not as much as a waist rotation as a torso, legs up and down, in and out. There is a knee bend and ankle rotation. There is no wrist rotation on this figure. So very cool looking bot even though he is an odd looking bot. Now let's go ahead and get into transformation and Airwave here is a modulator, which means you take him completely apart to transform him. So we'll go ahead and pull off the weapons. This weapon right here is actually two pieces. Get back up here, pull the arms off, pull the lower legs off, separate the torso from the waist area. Now for the waist, you want to rotate the legs up and there's a slot right here that goes into that peg. So you're going to lock these in place like so. So those are ready for the transformation sequences. This section right here, you're going to do the head a 180 and fold it down like so. Now the first base we're going to do is, or the first alt mode we're going to do is the air base mode. So you're going to take the leg section here and let's see, turn air wave up this way and you're going to peg him in just like this. And now you've got these sections here with the lower legs. Make sure the feet are in the middle. So we're going to peg one there and one there just like so now the arm section you want to straighten this out these actually tab together these two panels so click those together like so underneath the base here let's see gotta flip these sections out forgetting steps so get these flipped out and these are actually pegged in this blue section is pegged in under there so it is a little tight so once you get those straightened out, you're going to take this arm and peg it in right there underneath and the other arm as well. We'll get that lined up. So you got the peg facing up and it'll peg in there on the other side. Actually, I think I need to flip these arms. There we go. So change the arms out because you want to make sure the tabs are not in the way. Man, what am I missing here? All right. Oh, wrong hole. There we go. So now we got the arms attached. Get that line back up. Try to get it flat. I've got this little section right here. You take this part attached to the top of the cannon. That'll slot into this hole on top. And this one here will go right there on the side. And there we have Airwaves air base mode. Now, right off the bat, as you can see, it doesn't really lay flat. I mean, one option will be just to take those arms off, but I can't, I mean, I've tried a couple different ways. I can't get this thing to lay flat perfectly. So there's the air base. It's a, it's a little air base, but so is the original generation one. We'll pull this one in for comparison. So there is the generation one airwave air base with the Earthrise version. My other complaint with the air base, other than the fact it will not lay flat, is there's no details right here on the tower piece. 
that really could use some windows or something. It's just lots of molded details on the guy, but no paint application. So hopefully Toy Hacks can fix that. Now, of course, Airwave can also interact with some of the other MicroMasters. Here comes one of the Decepticon jets in for a landing, but the airstrip is too close to the tower. He clips a wing and blows up. Airwave can also interact with some of these ramp pieces like Slitherfang here, so he can attach right there on the end and, of course, attach to other bases. So we've got that going on, and that is pretty much it for Airwave's airbase mode. Now we'll go ahead and get him transformed into my favorite mode, his rolling battle base. We once again have to take everything apart. Now once you have Airwave all broken back down into his separate components, you're once again going to take the torso section and the leg section right here and peg those together. Gray section goes on the bottom. So we've got that going on. Now you're going to take the runways from earlier line those up like so and attach those via the pegs so we've got that going on now you're going to take the arm section with the decepticon logos and attach it up here on top that'll hold those together underneath you're going to take the arm section right here and clip that right there once again you got to make sure you get the tab facing away from those treads there we go and actually flip that around and that'll peg in too so there we go like i said i had to use the instructions on this guy so after we have that going on you're going to take this little tower piece it'll peg the instructions say you can put it here on the side but there's three options you can put it on the side in the center or the other side let's follow the instructions put that right there and these little cannon pieces will go on the sides. And this is Airwave's rolling battle base. So this one here really reminds me more of Metroplex than Generation 1 Airwave. And I love the big tank treads underneath. That's really cool. He does have wheels. And this mode can roll not very good i mean you more or less slide it across your table but still a pretty neat mold and once again very plain it really needs something to set it off i do like the stripes there on the runway the 32 which is another homage to the original toy and those tampograph decepticon logos now the original toy could look like that you just take the air base mode take the ramp off Fold those sections in. I guess you can attach the ramp again, like so. But that's not really a mode. That's just halfway transformed. As you can see, that's just a, a building right there. Well, this actually looks more like a battle base. So you can attach other weapons to the ports as well to really beef up the armament. And let's see, interactivity with some other MicroMasters. That is a much better airport in my opinion so that is airwaves battle base now let's game apart one more time for his final mode now after you get airwave all separated into his components once again you're going to take these sections right here the landing strips and you're going to put those together like so take your decepticon logo piece and you're going to attach those together just like you did for the attack base. Now you're going to take these sections, the feet, flip these up, turn them over, grab the low or the upper leg section, the tank tread section, and you got these pegs right here. They're going to line up to the holes on this section. Get those pegged in, just like so. So you got this going on. Now what you're going to do is separate this. Just pull that apart. Make sure it stays lined up. And now you've got this section here. You're going to turn this over. Let's see. There we go. And this, all right, let me find the right part. This here will peg in just like that. And now you're going to turn this section over. You've got this part right here. 
you got these pegs or these holes right there they're going to line up to these pegs just like so so we got that going on you got this little peg right here you need to flip out take this arm section and just kind of bend it to look like that that's going to peg in right there so you've got that going on now you got this section here this is supposed to go right there in the robot fist and now you take these little black sections here and they will peg in right there actually you can either peg them in there or attach them to those pegs like so now i actually like pegging them in here which makes the weapons stick out just a little farther but we'll stick with the instructions peg those in rotate the orange handles down and there you have airwaves battle base or weapon emplacement this one is another one that's kind of lame it just it doesn't angle up you're supposed to get like a upwards angle like so but this section here hits this right there and it just kind of locks you can't really do anything with it so good idea poor execution now here is earthrise airwave with generation one's airwaves gun emplacement or missile placement this is much better it angles up you've got the missiles that can fire off love generation one get those back on and you can interact you take airwave you put him in here like that's the command center so he can man this missile section this it has an opening but i don't think no that's a little tall for a micromaster there i guess he's gonna have to stand behind and work it that way but this this is a disappointment this is kind of a afterthought mode in my opinion so there you go guys there is airwaves weapon emplacement and now for some quick size comparisons here is transformers war for cybertron earthrise airwave with generation one megatron generation one airwave fellow modulator Earthrise Grease Pit, and Earthrise Ramjet. Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Airwave is an okay figure. I love the robot mode. It really grew on me, especially with all those molded in details, and I love his rolling battle base mode. The air base mode, airport mode, I find a little lacking. The fact it won't lay straight is really off-putting, and the weapon emplacement is just terrible. So there you go, guys. War for Cybertron Earthrise Airwave. So does a Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Airwave belong in your collection? Absolutely. If you find him in the clearance aisle. I mean, this is a cool looking robot. It grew on me. It's not near as goofy as I thought he'd be. I love the molded details on the guy, but it's the alt modes that's what kills me his best alt mode is one that the original generation one toy really had nothing to do with the airport mode and the battle station or the weapon emplacement those suck i mean i was really disappointed in those i mean the original generation one airwave is one of my favorite micromaster sets with you know the base but this one I just wait on. I mean, other than you just need a new Decepticon to help bolster your ranks. So, yeah, you see this guy on the shelf? Wait for a sale. Now, guys, I want to give a big shout out to a new member of the channel, Kid Notorious. Thank you so much for signing up. Uh, you can join Patriot Prime Reviews by clicking that join button there at the bottom. Now, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!